The graph of f is shown below. Let g of x be equal to the definite integral from 0 to x of f of t dt. Now at first when you see this, you're like, wow, this is, this is strange. I have a function that is being defined by an integral, a definite integral, but one of its bounds are x. And you should just say, well, well this is OK. A function can be defined any which way. And as we'll see, it's actually quite straightforward to evaluate this. So g of negative 2, g of negative 2, and I'll do the negative 2 in a different color, g of negative 2, well, what we do is we take this expression right over here, this definite integral, and everywhere we see an x, we replace it with a negative 2. So this is going to be equal to the integral from 0 to x of, and I'll write x in a second, f of t dt. Well, x is now negative 2. This is now negative 2. And so how do we figure out what this is? Now before we even look at this graph, you might say, okay, this is the, the region under the area of the region under the graph y equals f of t between negative two and zero. But you have to be careful. Notice our upper bound here is actually a lower number than our lower bound right over here. So it will be nice to swap those bounds so we can truly view it as the area of the region under f of t above the t-axis between those two bounds. And so when you swap the bounds, this is going to be equal to negative definite integral from negative 2, negative 2 to 0 of f of t dt. And now what we have right over here, what I'm squaring off in magenta, this is the area under the curve f between negative 2 and 0. So between negative 2 and zero, so that is this area right over here that we care about. Now what is that going to be? Well, you could, there's a bunch of different ways that you could do this. You could split it off into a square and a triangle. The area of this square right over here is four. It's two by two. And it's make sure to make sure you look at the units. Sometimes each square doesn't represent one square unit, so, but in this case it does, so that's four. And then up here, this is half of four, right? If it was all of this, that would be four. This triangle is half of four, so this is two right over there. Or you could view this as base times height times one half, which is gonna be two times two times one half. And so this area right over here is six. So this part is six, but we can't forget that negative sign. So this is going to be equal to negative, negative six. And so g of negative two is negative six.